Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this tutorial we're going to be um, setting up a fall detector in the game. So basically what we can do is detect when the player has fallen off the map or fall, fallen um, off one of these ground platforms and basically um, respawn the player back to a certain point or a checkpoint. So basically if we have a look what I've um, actually added to this game is a um, few gaps in between these ground platforms. So I've got a gap here and I've also got another gap over here. So what happens if we fall down one of these gaps? Well, at the moment, we haven't actually programmed anything there. So if the player falls down one of those gaps, um, they can't actually get back onto this platform and continue the game. So what we might want to do is actually have, if the player falls, they go back to a certain checkpoint where they were lost, and maybe they lose some health, or lose some points or something like that. Um, but they can continue on with the game, or maybe it's just game over. But at the moment, the player is actually falling forever, and so we can actually move left and right while the player is falling, and the camera will move left and right, but we can't get back up onto these platforms. So what we need to do is add a fall detector that can detect when we fall into this uh, death zone and then put us back up here onto the platform at a certain checkpoint. All right, so what we'll do is we'll create a new object called fall detector. So we can just click here in the hierarchy, make sure no objects are selected, right click and create empty object and then rename it to fall detector. Okay, and what we need to do in order to detect when a um, when the players hit this fall detector, we need to put a collider on this object. So we can go over to add component, and we can add um, we can just search for what we want. So I want a box collider. Search for collider, and we've got all these different colliders here we can use. I want box collider two D, which shows up here. Now, yeah, so I've got the collider here. But this collider, we need to resize it. So we can click on Edit Collider and just click and drag sides out there. We need it to be nice and wide and we need to reposition it so that it's under the player. Okay, so what we want is we want the collider to be wide so the player can fall and definitely hit this collider. And we need it to be under the player um, <clears throat> down here somewhere where um, they're going to be falling for a few seconds and then um, hit that collider and then be put back up onto the platform. So make sure it's under the player, um, down below the ground, somewhere about there, maybe just outside of the camera's view so we don't actually see the exact point that they um, respawn from, but just like that, set it up like that. Now, what we could do is we could make the collider really, really wide because this player is going to be moving across this map so that we need to always have the fall detector underneath the player. So we could just make this fall detector really wide so it covers all of this um, area or we could just make it follow the player around the, um, well, along these, um, along this world as the player moves along. So we already actually have something that follows the player around left and right in a straight line, and that's the camera. So we've already got a camera set up here that's following the player. So what we can actually do is make this fall detector object a child of the camera. So we can just drag it onto the camera and um, make sure that it's still underneath the player. So if you need to reposition it, make sure that it's still underneath the player there. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to actually make sure that um, when the player falls and hit this collider, that the collider will actually be able to detect that this player has entered that, that death zone or that um, fall detector. It needs a, a trigger. So while we're on this fall detector, we'll go over to its collider and we'll tick the box is trigger to so make sure that that's set. And there's three different types of triggers we could use. We can check when the player enters the trigger. So the player falls down and hits this, the edge of the trigger here and enters it. 
or we can detect when the player is staying inside the trigger or when the player exits the trigger, so it comes out the other side. But we just want to detect when the player enters the trigger. Now, what we also want to do is we want to actually, um, when we set up the script for this um, trigger or this fall detector, we want to actually check what has entered um, that zone. So is it the player or is it something else? Because it could be this bomb falling down. We might actually run along and push the bomb off the edge of um, the platform and the bomb might fall down. And we don't necessarily want bombs to be able to uh, respawn. Okay, or it could be something else. Um, so what we want to do is we want to identify this player as an actual player. All right, so what we'll do is we'll click on this player and we can see a tag here and it says at the moment untag. And what we can do is give this player a new tag. So we'll click on add tag and we've got a, a list here that's currently empty, so we can click plus to make a new tag. And we can just say player, okay? And while we're at it, we'll also make a tag for the, um, the actual full detector. But what we've done is we've created this tag player. We haven't actually assigned it to the player yet. So we'll do that in a moment. So we've got a player tag, we'll click plus to make a new tag as well, another one, and we'll call this one full detector. Okay, so we've created these two tags, but we haven't used them yet. So we'll click on the player and go to tag and change it from untagged to player. And we'll go to the full detector and click on tag, change from untagged to full detector. So now we've got two tags being used in this game and we can save the game at this point. All right, next thing to do is we need to actually go to the um, code for this player so we can detect when this player is entering this um, uh, fall detector. So the script that we're using on the player is called the player controller. We can go and open that up in mono develop. And what we're going to do is we're not gonna add any more code inside the start method or the update method yet. We're going to create a new method that detects um, the other collider that the player enters. So this script player controller is attached to the player object. So we want to detect which uh, other collider um, that the object that this script's attached to is entering. So in other words, we want to detect when this player enters a collider that is the fall detector collider. All right, so go back to the code and we can say void on trigger enter 2D brackets collider 2d space other so detecting um, the other collider that the player enters close that bracket and then add our two curly brackets so the code for this method is going to go inside these two curly brackets and we're going to check what enters the trigger by its tag name so we've already given um, a tag to the full detector. We've already given it a tag of full detector. So we can say if other dot tag, so the other object dot tag equals, and here in the if statement, we're not saying that the tag is equal to something. We're checking if the tag is equal to something else. So in that case, we need to use two equal signs here instead of one equal sign. And in quotes or double quotes, we'll say full detector. Okay, it needs to be the exact name of that tag we created before. One word, uppercase F and uppercase D. And then we can close those brackets and add two curly brackets, the open and close ones, for this if statement. And we won't actually add the code for um, this bit yet. We're going to add that in another tutorial. What we'll do is we'll just add a comment. So we can add two forward slashes there to create a comment. And then we'll just say what will happen when player enters the fall detector zone. Okay, so we'll just add this comment here temporarily because we're going to add the code for this section um, later on. That's it for this tutorial. So what we've done is we've set up the fall detector. Um, and in the next tutorial, we're going to add the checkpoints 
um, so that we have certain places where we can respawn to. And then after that, we'll add the respawning to those checkpoints. Thanks for watching.